हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स एचक्यू दिस इज प्रोफेसर संदीप योर ट्यूटर फॉर द क्लास 11 सीरीज कंटिन्यूइंग विद द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ सॉल्विंग एमसीक्यूज एंड सम्स ऑफ क्लास 11 फिजिक्स टुडे वी विल बी कवरिंग द टेक्स्ट बुक एमसीक्यूज ऑफ चैप्टर 6 मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एमसीक्यू चेंज इन डाइमेंशंस इज नोन एज डिफॉर्मेशन फॉर्मेशन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन और स्ट्रेन the correct option is option A. Change in dimension is nothing but deformation. The point on stress strain curve at which strain begins to increase even without increase in stress is called elastic yield breaking or neck point. So the correct option over here is yield point. After the yield point even without any increase or with very little increase in stress the strain increases significantly. And if you will check the graph, the graph is almost parallel to the horizontal axis. Means the stress is constant and the strain increases continuously after the yield point. Let us check out the next MCQ. Next, strain energy of a stretched wire is 18 into 10 raised to minus 3 joule and the strain energy per unit volume of the same wire and same cross section is 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 joule per meter cube. Its volume will be these are the options. Now strain energy per unit volume is given by strain energy divided by the volume. Now we are supposed to find the volume to so rearrange kar dete. Volume will be given by strain energy divided by strain energy per unit volume strain energy yahan pe diya hua hai 18 into 10 raised to minus 3 joule and strain energy per unit volume is given as 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 joule per meter cube so ye 10 raised to minus 3 cancel ho jayega aur ye 6 3 is 18 so the volume that we get over here is 3 meter cube so the correct option is option b Next, what is the property of a material which enables it to resist plastic deformation? These are the options. The correct option over here is option C, hardness. So hardness is the property which enables a material to resist plastic deformation. Next, the ability of a material to resist fracturing when force is applied to it is called as the correct option is option A, toughness. I hope you have understood this. Thank you for your time. If you are finding this lecture series useful, then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates. As you know, based on your feedbacks and suggestions, we will be covering key concepts under our 5 minute lecture series of class 11. So please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.